Welcome to the Third Wave Business Systems Advanced Productivity Pack Charts and Dashboards Module Overview. My name is Dennis Tucker. I'm a technical manager at Third Wave, and I'll be providing you with some insight today into the functionality available in this module to create advanced queries which can then be leveraged into a variety of robust charts. APP currently supports over 20 different chart types. The data and charts can then be combined into real-time dynamic dashboards for in-depth analysis to fit your business needs. Before we delve into the queries, charts, and dashboards features of the Advanced Productivity Pack, let's look at a quick overview of the functionality that the application adds to your SAP Business One system. There are three major feature sets in APP, the Customizer Module, Document Delivery, and the Charts and Dashboards Module. There are other smaller utilities in the application as well, such as the Security Audit Report and B1 Email. Customizer allows you to make physical changes to SAP Business One screens, adding functionality behind new or existing screen objects, adding validations, and setting tab orders. Document delivery allows you to email, print, or fax any document in Business One, either through the marketing document screen itself or through a batch printing process. The APP Queries, Charts, and Dashboards module provides you with tremendous flexibility and an advanced insight into your data in SAP Business One so that you can slice and dice your information, presenting it in the best way to fit your organization's needs. Let's take a more in-depth look at this functionality. When you create an APP query, which is essentially an SAP Business One query in a more flexible and robust interface, you can utilize the ad hoc analysis features to group, sort, filter, and view data aggregates. You can have the ability to set data refresh intervals for real-time analysis. And while looking at data is great, you also have the capabilities to create visualizations based on the data that will provide you with more insight into the information. APP supports over 20 types of charts, giving you a variety of data presentation options. These queries and charts can then be aggregated onto a dashboard, which then provides you with a comprehensive analysis. To start with the demonstration, I'll load a B1 query into the SAP window. While the data loads, there is relatively very little that you can do with it. There are almost no analytical capabilities. Sure, you can use the golden link to arrows to drill back to a business partner or a marketing document, and using control and double click on a numeric column header will give you the column totals at the bottom. But that's about it. It's very limited. From a display perspective, there are also a lot of unwanted or useless columns of data, like object type or internal number, that are part of the query. They might not be information you want the client to see and can't be removed unless the user is technically proficient enough to edit SQL queries. Now let's take a look at how using an APP query can provide you with functionality to accomplish a lot more. I've used the same query but configured it as an APP query, which I'll show you how to set up in a few minutes. Loading the APP query shows you an entirely different interface with a variety of analytical options. In the query, it was specified that data would be grouped according to the customer group name, which is visually represented here. Each group also has summed up the number of orders per group and the orders total. So you can see that the construction group has 85 orders totaling $555,748.80. Also, the summary information is available in the column footers for each column. Each group of data can be expanded or contracted by clicking on the up and down arrow at the left of the group header title. The APP query interface also supports golden link to arrows for drilling back to information in SAP like business partners or sales order documents. Let's see what other things you can functionally do with the data in the APP query interface that you cannot in the SAP B1 query interface. If you want to add another column to the data grouping, simply click and drag the column header to be added into the group by area above the column headers. You can expand the grouped data to see now that you have two levels of grouped data, first by customer group name, then by customer name. The APP query interface also gives you the ability to filter data from the query result set without rewriting the query. For example, 
Let's say that you only wanted to show open documents in your results. Click on the filter icon to the right of the column title and that will show you the filter screen for that column. It will list all available data values for specific filtering and also provide a variety of condition options if you don't want to use the default is equal to setting. More advanced filtering can be done by combining multiple conditions. Clicking the filter button will refresh the data display. Clicking the clear filter button can easily remove any applied filters to the column. As you can see, the data and total information has been refreshed to reflect the applied filter. Another useful data filtering scenario would be to restrict the data return to only orders above a specific document total amount. Apply an is greater than condition and specify the document total for the lower limit of the data to be viewed. You can already see from a few quick examples how the interface the APP query provides surpasses the capabilities of the inherent SAP B1 query interface. But let's take the next step. Even with the analytics of the data view, there is still a lot of information to be examined here. What we've given you the ability to do is to associate charts with the data that can visually represent data relationships however you need them to. Clicking on the sales order by group tab shows you a bar graph representation of the order totals organized by business partner group on the x-axis. What is extremely useful in these data visualizations is that you can change your grouping on the fly and have these charts updated in real time with the modifications made. Now we'll take a look at the same information, but instead of grouping by business partner group, we'll group the data by salesperson. We'll remove the existing grouping and click and drag the salesperson name column title into the area above to group by that information. Going back to our chart shows the updated grouping information with each bar representing a salesperson. That's a simple example of the power of the APP query and charts interface to respond immediately to your data visualization needs. Now we're going to take a look at the steps needed to set up an APP query in the application and to associate charts with it. I'll start by loading the APP report maintenance screen. This is the screen where you can set up reports, report groups, queries, and other objects in APP. I've given the query a name, a category, and selected the SAP database for the query to run against. Once I selected that database, a list of all SAP queries in the selected database is listed in the query drop-down list. For this example, I selected the existing sales order detail query. I set the link to option to none, meaning that the query wasn't tied to any specific screen and it will load on the main APP queries menu. Then I set a refresh time of 30 seconds. The refresh time is optional. If you do not want the data to refresh, set the value to 0 seconds. The way that you designate for the query which interface will be loaded is through the option buttons on the right side. Selecting the B1 query option will load the query in the regular SAP B1 query interface. Selecting the APP query option will load the query in the advanced APP query interface. If you've selected the APP query option, the load associated charts checkbox will be activated. Selecting this will load any charts associated with the query when the APP query interface is loaded. The report maintenance screen itself also provides the user with the ability to modify the query display in a non-technical point-and-click way that anyone can easily use. Clicking the query preferences button will display a new form with information regarding the query being modified. It will have a line for each field in the query along with a variety of information regarding the properties of those fields in the query including if the field is visible, the column title text, if the field is used in grouping, field display order, and if the column should show totals, averages, counts, and maximum values for aggregates. Any changes to the query preferences can be immediately seen by relaunching or refreshing your query data. As you can see, any changes we made in the query properties window are now reflected in the APP query data view. Columns have changed their order according to the values that we've set, column titles are changed, and any of the other properties that we modified reflect those changes. 
Now we'll take a look at how easy it is to set up charts against these queries as well. Clicking the Manage Charts button will bring up the Charts Definition screen. You can see here that I already have two charts that exist in relation to this query. Each chart is simply a matter of filling out the 10 or 12 fields required depending on the type of chart selected. What you are doing is specifying a two or three dimensional chart, specifying fields from the query for the X axis, defining a data refresh period, picking the specific chart type. There are over 20 chart types you can choose from. You have the ability to preview the charts to see if your definition meets your needs. It's that simple. I'd like to reiterate that we're still using the basic SAP query and that the tools needed to create these data views and charts are all inherently built into the APP application. These data views and or charts can be combined in the APP application to form useful dashboards. Let's take a look at an example of a sales summary dashboard. I can view a sales summary of the current year, a sales summary of the prior year, sales by customer, and sales by period. You'll notice that the sales by period chart data refreshes every 10 seconds. A powerful feature that we bring to the table to ensure you a view of real-time results. Next we'll look at an example of a salesperson dashboard. For reference, we'll call each separate area of the dashboard a frame. There are six frames that make up this dashboard. The upper three frames of this dashboard are a mixture of data and charts. The upper left frame is basically a list of salespeople in the system, their sales to date, their target sales quotas, and which country they belong to. The upper middle frame contains a chart illustrating sales broken down by salesperson, while the upper right frame contains a chart illustrating sales broken down by country. The bottom three frames are set up with a dynamic relationship. When I click on a specific salesperson, you'll see how these frames react, but for now, they simply have a list of invoices in the system and customers respectively. The lower middle frame has intentionally been left blank. I'll click on salesperson Bill Levine, and you'll notice that the data in my three lower dynamic frames has changed to reflect the selection of the specific salesperson. The lower data frames on the left and right have been filtered to display only the data for Bill Levine. The lower middle frame, which was blank before, now displays a chart that compares current sales to target sales goals. If I select a different salesperson, Brad Thompson for example, the lower dynamic frames refresh to reflect data for the newly selected salesperson. This provides you with the dynamic, powerful tool that is built solely on existing SAP information, is easy to use with a point and click interface, and does not require you to learn new technologies like Excelsius. For more information on Third Wave's Advanced Productivity Pack charts and dashboards, the Advanced Productivity Pack in general, or any of the other applications that Third Wave offers, please visit our website at www.twbs.com. You can click the Contact Us link in the upper right corner of the page. Existing Third Wave partners and customers can obtain more information through the support portal by clicking the Customer Support link in the upper right corner of the page. Thank you for your time and attention.